this rain had to ruin vlogmas hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel this is your girl Taja today I am back with another video today's the first day of vlogmas y'all ask for it so it's here as you can I don't know if y'all can hear it but it's raining right now it's gloomy outside um but that ain't gonna stop us sis that ain't gonna stop us. yeah are y'all feeling this little bang action I got going on I did this myself Ooh, girl this rain got me messed up. Hold on, let me fix my sieve. This is something else, like why is it even raining right now? I don't understand. It's rainy, it's cold. This is the reason why I miss Florida. This is the reason why I went to Florida for a good old weekend, sis, because. By the way, if y'all haven't watched my Florida vlog, make sure that you click the link down below, because I posted it last night. Um, You guys, I am so excited to be doing vlogmas like this is my first year doing vlogmas okay but last year like I had I probably went like two three years and never posted on my YouTube because first of all I had so much going on with school I wasn't motivated I remember binge watching so many vlogmas videos last year and I was like I wish this was me I wish I was doing this I wish I wish I oh my god I gotta show y'all this <laughs> the dog got the umbrella but he don't okay okay but yeah, so I remember like binge watching so many Vlogmas videos, like wanting to get my channel back on, but like, it's just like something was kind of holding me back. But this year I'm finally doing Vlogmas, you know, like this year was so amazing for me because this year was the year that I really started what I wanted to and my YouTube kind of took off from there and I couldn't be more grateful and I couldn't be more thankful and feeling blessed but if you are supporting me right now if you are subscribed to my channel if you watch my videos constantly if you you know have the the bell notification on if you got love for me then I thank you because I am doing this because I have you watching so thank you so much for supporting me and if you are not yet subscribed then hit the subscribe button all of this is to say like if you have something that you feel like you want to do deep down inside whether that's YouTube whether that's your business whether that's going to school for something or quitting that job that you that you've been miserable at for the past few years go for what you want and follow your dreams because at the end of the day you will be the one dealing with the consequences um, and it's easier said than done you know this everything is a process but think about doing something that you like to win y'all this is my favorite song at the moment y'all so I'm really bummed out right now my friend Dora was supposed to be here this weekend for her birthday but something came up and she won't be able to make it so her birthday was like two days ago but she won't be able to make it and i really like feel some type of way because i know how lit my f i know how lit this vlog would have been if she was here period y'all would have been like y'all girls are crazy matter of fact if you watch my florida vlog then you probably had a taste of our personalities like when we meet it's like Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. She's up here, I'm up here, and then she gets up here, and then, like, it's crazy. Hey, sus. Hold on. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Okay, so we get in close to Walmart. Walmart. I hate going to this Walmart because it's always packed, but I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do to get this Christmas tree. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I'm gonna decorate my house, and I'm gonna cook. Um, where is the garden center? uh-huh thank you okay thanks so they have like all sizes right now I'm just gonna have to pick one <laughs> it's that season so far so good um, I'm getting some decoration I got the tree topper um, I just have to get a little bit more 
and then i have to go on the other side because we gotta go grocery shopping as well but this is currently what i am looking at i feel like a lot of those things are overpriced but i just i don't know you could go to the dollar tree and get a lot of these things too what how about this right here yes okay okay and then i'm gonna get a smaller tree this one's probably too big so y'all i changed the tree that i had so we're doing non-traditional this year and it's pre-lit this is my current favorite cereal and a little tip never get the one that's right in front or the second one either okay eh, okay you know i'm gonna still put them back in place though <laughs> There we go. Oh, and then here's another one of my favorites, you guys. This is like snack alert for me for my week of work. But I love to mix this with like plain yogurt. Sometimes I cut up some fruits and put on top. Really good breakfast or snack. Girl, we gonna be spending a bag today. I was running outside like crazy trying to pack this car. All the groceries in the back. We finally got situated. Whew. I'm about to head home because I gotta start cooking and I'm going to start putting my tree together. I also bought a bottle of wine, okay girl, so we can make this whole experience fun. I'm gonna turn on a movie and it's just gonna be just me and you guys. So let's get this started. So I'm about to head home and I will see y'all at the house. So I got to the house probably like 20 minutes ago. I had to get all the grocery in the house really quick. Um, I'm going to put everything aside and start cooking. Okay, so, all right, so here's what we have on the menu tonight. For tonight, I'm making some um, jerk seasoned wings. I'm gonna have some jerk wings and then I'm gonna have like another, like different seasoning on it and I'm just going to let it marinate really good and then pop it, bake it in the oven. Um, I'm also making some baked ziti. It's a Haitian dish, it's called macaroni gratiné so really similar to um, baked mac and cheese but we use the penne pasta and I'm also gonna use the bechamel sauce I'm gonna use like different things and I'll show you guys how I make that and then I'm making a corn souffle and some what do you call that some zucchini on the side okay so we're gonna be cooking cooking um let me go ahead and put everything aside I have to wash the dishes real quick got my chicken wings first thing that i'm gonna do is wash my chicken y'all i'm a caribbean girl so if y'all didn't know we do the most with our foods okay a lot of the recipes y'all are gonna see tonight are gonna be really different and unique okay because i'm caribbean like i said i'm going to cut this lemon in half and just squeeze it in there kind of rub it around the chicken, rinse that, and then we're going to boil the chicken. I'm starting my bechamel sauce and the first thing I have in there is butter. Um, and then on the side, I'm gonna start and make a, a ground turkey because I'm gonna mix that in to make my macaroni gratini. Okay, so I added a little bit of flour to my butter. And the reason why you do this is to thicken up the sauce a little more. Um, and you can always add that later as well. And you're just gonna stir it up. Okay. And I'm making I'm making a lot of this vegetable sauce because I'm gonna use it for my gratini and for my souffle corn. So one thing I'm going to add to it, again, to thicken it up a little bit, is this Mexican cream. Basically, you can add any heavy whipping cream, just any thicker cream. So I'm going to add that to it. 
Okay, so you're gonna want to add cheese to this and I'm gonna start with a taco blend cheese. Um, and I'm just gonna pour the whole thing in here because I have another bag of cheese I'm gonna use as well. So you want this to be cheesy and creamy and full of flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my plantains, you guys. I'm making some sweet plantains, fried plantains. Cut the ends. So I grew up seeing, seeing really my family cut it like they would just peel it off. But a lot of times when you have like the, the hard plantain, it's hard for you to peel it off. So it will be like you have to use your knife to peel the whole thing off. With this, it's super easy. You just peel it like a banana. But if you have a hard plantain, I have a tip on how to cut it easily. But after you peel this off, basically, are you just going to cut your plantain in, in big pieces? And I like to do diagonal cuts instead of straight on. So here's a tip that I had. If you have a hard plantain that you're gonna fry, you want to cut it first with the skin on there, and then you can just chop and peel it. That's for the hard one, okay? But with this, you can just pull it all in one because this is really easy to peel. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna cut some onions to put in my ground uh, ground turkey. Uh, um, we're gonna mix this ground turkey with, you know, the pasta and bechamel sauce before we pop it in the oven. So I am adding all the good seasoning to my chicken right now. This is what I'm using. Kirby and Jerk, a 30 minute marinade. I just added this to my Parmesan. This is, I mean, to my bechamel. This is the main key. You need Parmesan cheese in your bechamel. So my penne pasta is about ready. You don't want to over overcook your pasta just because you're gonna pop it in the oven and it's gonna cook again. Ground turkey is ready. So for my corn souffle, I have the whole corn and then I also have the sweet corn cream stout. I'm making my plantains, you guys, um, and I fried them twice. So the first round, I just, how I cut them earlier, I fried them like this. And then after that, you wanna smush your plantains and you're gonna fry them again. If your plantains don't look like this, I don't want them. 